Hello everybody, welcome back to Casual Gamer Rods. We now move into round four of season seven, F1 2017 career mode, Ferrari driver Ben Waterworth. We're in Russia, let's get into this. Best qualifying here came back in season five on F1 2017 where we got a good sixth position. This time around, it is raining. We just said in the last one, we haven't had a wet session yet. We don't know how this Ferrari handles in the wet. And I'm a little bit intrigued to see this myself. Um, because they expect us to finish at least on the front row. We've had back-to-back -back pole positions. And, uh, whoa, the grip levels are not that fantastic heading into that corner there. And then we lose out on time here to Lewis Hamilton, who looks like he's uh, secured Mercedes' first pole position for Season 7 on F1 2017 career mode. So, um, no, now it's Vettel again. We're in 8th position at the moment, and I don't know how we're going to do in uh, getting up to uh, our front row here at the moment. Or even bettering our career best of 6th uh, place. Hanging on to the back here of Vettel. Fourth at the moment. And uh, car handling pretty okay as we move now into the middle straight section of the circuit, which is now. It's not really a straight, it's kind of like a curved straight. That makes sense. Doesn't seem to have the pace, although we are gaining here in Vettel, it seems. We are gaining, we are gaining. We set the fastest middle sector of anyone, that's good. We hold on to it through this little kink, and we do, still in second. Never started in second before. I think we started third in one Grand Prix last year from memory. We moved ourselves back up into pole position though. As we just get a bit of a slide, I always hate this section of the circuit. Always lose a lot of time here. Can we hold on to it? Can we hold on to it? I think we did. We did, we did, we got pole. Woo! Three poles in a row. I'll take it. That's our first time we've ever got triple pole. So there we go. By eight hundredths of a second, if you don't mind, too. And the Ferraris lock out the front row uh, once again in F1 2017 Season 7. All right. Let's get ourselves prepped and ready to go for the race day. And we're going to do that now. Let's hope for a dry race. We're not going to do any chops this time. So uh, that at least cost Vettel a win. We gave sort of Mercedes a 1-2 there, I feel. Prevent the chop. And uh, hopefully find ourselves uh, leading away. I don't think we've actually led off the line and just led the whole way. Except for the races where we've kind of... I don't want to say cheated, but made, it, made ourselves an advantage there. Best finish here, third. Last season here in Sochi. Uh, so we'll see how that can uh, fare here as well. We're winning the rivalry. That's good. Our reputation, yeah, brilliant. Dry race, even better. Alrighty, Russia. It's time to rush ourselves around this circuit. 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 Yeah, sometimes I wonder what's wrong with me. Do 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 because we haven't done any invitationals. We haven't done any uh, online in a while, have we? We're just so focused on this career mode at the moment. Which uh, maybe once we've done all ten seasons, we'll come back and do some so online ones for you. Alrighty, Russia pole position for the first time here. Let's do this. Let's do this, Russia. Let's do this. How's our rich mode looking? At we're going to keep that on standard revs for the time being. We are underway. Vettel's going to take the lead. Just is he? Yep, there he goes. See you, Seb. We haven't done the chop on you this time around. I can't really go across to the inside because there is a car to the right of me. I don't know who it is, but I'm not going to risk it. I have to go around the outside of Seb. Oh, we're going to bang wheels slightly. But I'll maintain my racing line and I'll maintain the lead. There we go. That's how you do it without chopping across your teammate and costing yourselves positions for no reasons. Ricardo up to third. Go Danny Rick. That would be the uh, perfect podium for me, my fellow countryman and my teammate. I will take that in a heartbeat. Alrighty. It's a matter of uh, maintaining this right now. And seeing what we can do again. It's a circuit I've had a bit of bogey luck with at some points, but I actually do like this circuit. 
And uh, hopefully we can maintain this and I can win my very first Russian Grand Prix. I think we'll have to go through the races that uh, we haven't won. Obviously Bahrain probably should have won, you would argue. Not the Australia's one we haven't won. We've added China to the tracks we've won at. And, uh, yeah, as we go on our quest for Quest, in Cylinder now, for Big to Big Wheel Championships. Alrighty, this last bit of section I don't like, although it feels so much better in this Ferrari, can I just add? So much of these corners feel so much better in this car compared to uh, driving the Toro Rosso. We begin to stretch our legs here at the front. Now, next Grand Prix in Spain is going to be very, very interesting. Maybe even more so interesting than Monaco, because I know you're going to say we've uh, technically won the Monaco Grand Prix, but of course, technically, that is very technical because we had to cheat in a way with the difficulty level to have that done. But uh, I think what's really interesting with Spain is that it's a real kind of bogey one for us that, uh, you know, we didn't reduce the difficulty, but I think last year even with the difficulty sort of standard, I still think we finished, what, like six or something, didn't we? I can't even remember, to be honest. But, um, yeah, I wonder how we can go there, particularly qualifying. So we're finding you qualify well, it makes it a lot easier to avoid any uh, carnage with front wings and everything, of course, that I seem to have a problem with. So... Yeah, obviously Monaco is going to... We should be dead last year in Monaco, so I don't see any way that even on this difficulty level we can get uh, a pole there, of course. And again, last year we did, but uh, we know how and why we did that. Anyway, haven't won this Grand Prix yet, Ben. Still got three laps to fuck it up. Pulling away from Seb. Of course, after the 1-2 uh, of Mercedes in Bahrain, following on from the 1-2 of Ferrari in China, it'd be nice to have another 1-2 here in Russia. 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 Oh, 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 I don't know why they're Transylvanian. So, yeah, I'm going to be very intrigued to see what happens in Spain. Spain, Spain, Spain. there but uh, apparently felt the need. <laughs> Fastest first sector of anyone there by five hundredth of a second if you don't mind. Car feeling very good. Pleasure to drive this red machine. wonder how it would have been driving the Red Bull. I mean it would have been a lot better I don't doubt than the Toro Rosso. But yeah. I wonder how the pace and everything would have been overall. Third best car in the game. So I wouldn't um, imagine the, Ferra the Mercedes is too different to the Ferrari. Whoa, 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 no, no. Oh, I got a penalty. Oh, well, I'd rather a penalty than a damage to the car. Because I think I am two seconds clear of Vettel, am I not? Oh, what did I say about three laps to fuck this up? Yeah, I know I've been awarded a time penalty, Jeffrey. Go shove it up your anus, my friend, because I don't give a flying fuck. Oh, that scared the absolute shit out of me. I thought I was just binded into the wall. How's my fuel go? Okay, we're going to put into rich mode here to really stretch it out. Because uh, I think we do have a two-second lead. We've got a 3.5-second lead over Vettel, so right now it's fine. It's okay at the moment. We'll still win this Grand Prix, based uh, even with having a time penalty. But uh, I've got to concentrate here, Ben, because that was stupid. That was very, very stupid. And uh, I think I got very lucky there to just get away with the time penalty. I thought I was about to damage my front wing. And, of course, if I damage my front wing, I'm not going to maintain this two-second lead. So I'm really going to have to stretch my asshole off here to really find myself up there. Said so another fastest first sector. That's good. 4.02 seconds. So we'll put another five-tenths on uh, Seb there. So that means that we're uh, still got two seconds up our sleeves in terms of this penalty. We just got to keep this going and really make sure that we do hold on to this. Which I think we can. I think we can. We've just got to concentrate better, Ben. Lots of concentration. You see what happens. Just 
very, very, very scary moment there. Fastest middle sector by seven tenths of a second, if you don't mind. Easily set the new fastest lap here in this lap. Oh no, I think I'm going to get another penalty there. Oh, nearly. It's interesting. I don't think I got a warning before. It's interesting how they're sometimes very lenient with you. Did you in Canada last year when I got that pole position? We've seen previously in Canada, didn't I get disqualified one time? I did. Cross the line, fastest lap by an entire second. And that should really amp our lead up over Vettel. 5.3 second lead now over Seb. So we're very comfortable now with this penalty. We could almost get another two second penalty and we would be fine. But we don't want another penalty. We don't want any other damage. We don't want anything else going wrong in this final lap. So we want to win the Russian Grand Prix. And I feel as though by winning here, we I don't think we will take the lead in the championship. But we should close in on, we should be at least second, I would feel, with uh, Hamilton not being in the top three. So that should be the case. Should be in the operative word. We'll soon see here in Russia. Still have not won this Grand Prix. So uh, we're still in the rich mode. Definitely stretching our legs now. Really, really stretching our legs. Not the fastest in that section. Well, as in overall, we're 6.4 clear of Vettel. So we've kind of got three penalties clear now, Seb. About five penalties clear of Ricardo. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Very close to the wall there. All right. This tricky dicky section that I hate, but we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Barring any misfortune in this section here, we're going to win the Russian Grand Prix. Yes. It's what we wanted. Even with the penalty, we still get the victory. And it's going to... Really make it interesting come Spain to see what exactly will be the deal in how we handle a circuit that we're generally not that brilliant at. Yeah, baby, celebrate it. Celebrate your pretty little self, Stefano. There we go. Victory. Good job. Wind, track temperature, Good and job. These cars come alive when the tires are just at the right temperature. So the more and uh, yeah, the oh, we're going to force India and focus and here. Fifth exactly for Perez, so Ricardo so third. There. So there's at least maybe so Mercedes in fourth. Look at that, two Aussies and a Ferrari on the podium. Or two Ferraris and an Aussie. Two, well, you know what I'm saying. Beautiful car. What a podium that is. Two Aussies, two Ferrari drivers. And they're going to spray the shit out of this. Yeah. Nearly my teammate. Well, I nearly replaced him, didn't I? Oh, two Aussies having a bromance there. Go, Aussies. Well done. That's a nice podium. I like that podium. Look at those flags there. So, oh, Hamilton dropped down to six. Who got the driver of the day? I'm going to say Ocon got driver of the day or Perez. Who is it, Anthony? Who would you go for? Let's give it to Esteban Ocon. Ocon, okay, cool. Uh, standings. Uh, so, uh, I do move up into second place. Only eight off the lead of the championship. So, we've got Ferrari, Ferrari, Mercedes, Mercedes, Rebel, Rebel. Um, Grosjean doing well. 16 points there for Haas. And uh, Ocon, only a few points there. Renault also with a couple of points. Constructors, well, we lead that quite healthily now. Red Bull third. Force India move up into fourth over Williams beautifully there. All right, let's have a look at our career score mode here. Yeah, look out for Spain. How will Spain go, Ben? How will Spain go? Dun, dun, dun. Just thought I would uh, do a bit of tense music there for you because that's how we roll. That's how we roll, motherfucker. Alrighty, so we get a nice chunk of 93 points there. We lead the rivalry by three. That's good. Our reputation. No, Torosso waking up to uh, their former driver. Cool. All right. So, and then once again, no flashbacks to use, of course. That is Russia. We're off to Spain. Like, subscribe, comment. We appreciate your time here on Casual Gamma Oz, And we'll speak to you next time. Good night.